today we're going to be taking a look at Cozy Voice by Fun Audio LLM. And Cozy Voice is a large language model based text to speech engine. And currently it does support five different languages. And if we scroll down over here, we're going to see the languages. It supports Chinese, English, Japanese, Cantonese, and also Korean. But for this video, since we do not understand any of those Asian languages, we are going to be working with just the English language. And if we check over here you're going to see that it actually has um i think three different models and this is the base model this and it also have the supervised fine-tuned model and it also has the instruct model which accepts prompts so let's go over to the main hugging face page you're going to see it the instruct model the base model and also the supervised fine-tuned model so basically in this video we are not going to be using virtual emv as our virtual environment like our previous video unlike our previous video sorry we're not going to be using um, virtual envy we're going to be using conda the reason why is we do require this package and this package for some reason doesn't actually install when i actually set up my virtual envy it doesn't install in that particular environment but it installs perfectly well on conda so that's what we're going to be using and the python version we're going to be working with is python 3.12 we won't be using 3.8 we're using 3.12 another disclaimer is in this video we're going to be running this model on our cpu and as for my hardware i'm going to be using my macbook m1 pro and the reason why i'm actually stating this in this video is because if you do have a different hardware like an nvidia graphics card or an amd graphics card the configuration might be a little bit different but if you want to set this up on your cpu like me then you can follow along with this video so let's jump right into the code before i start rambling <laughs> so let's see so this is our this is what we actually have because we're going to be following the steps here and one of the first things they actually ask us to do is clone this repo now let's open up our terminal and let's run this then the next thing we're going to do is run both commands okay now let's create the conda environment before you actually do this make sure you click on this link and follow the setup guide to install mini conda and let's just copy this part now let's activate this environment now it's active and now we're going to install pine ini and it's done now let's install everything from our requirements.txt we have our requirements.txt over here something i'm going to do is i'm going to update this requirements.txt because there are quite a lot of outdated packages and they actually use trip um, version 3.8 in this particular example so i'm going to change i'm going to change the versions of the packages here to suit um 3.12 without getting into any errors so let me just copy and paste that okay i've actually pasted that in now i'm going to copy these requirements of txt i'm pasting the root directory the reason why i'm doing this is so once i actually um, create this github repo you're going to find this in the github repo all you have to do is copy this after you've actually cloned cozy voice um, sorry cozy voice you can actually copy this and paste it in here as you can see before you run before you run this command to install requirements.txt if you are actually using version 3.12 of python so now let's skip to the good part so it's finally done installing and let's go over to the next step so before we move forward, something that would be really, really great if you could do right now is hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever we release a new video on this YouTube channel. It really helps a lot. And do not forget to like and share. It helps a whole lot, especially as we strive to get to our first 1,000 subscribers. It really, really, really means a lot. So let's move forward. So since we are not actually using Ubuntu or CentOS, we will ignore this. And for model downloads, you skip this part and the main thing is to get this part if you're using a macbook now if you're using a linux i think it depends on the processor um how many bits either 64 or 86 i think um you can choose to ignore this 
but it actually helps for better text normalization like it just gives better text normalization performance and but if you don't it will just default to we text processing package that's what it will use by default but for this video since i'm actually running it on my macbook i would ignore this last one i would only go for this when i copy this command i'll go over to my ide since i'm in cosy voice i'm in the package we cloned that's cosy voice i can just paste this command in and once i hit enter it will download it and it's after making this directory retrained underscore models it then downloads all these to their respective folders now as you can see these are the three models i talked about that we will be testing in this video the base model the super supervised fine-tuned model and the instruct model so once you hit enter it downloads it into this directory you're going to have to find it in the under pre-trained underscore models slash this for the base model and cosy voice dash 300m dash sft for the supervised fine-tuned model and so on so that's all you need to do once you hit enter it starts downloading but i do have all these files so i do not need to download this right now using my command line i already did this so i'm going to copy mine and paste mine in here so the moment you hit enter it clones it but i'm going to stop mine so it doesn't download it so as you can see pre-train models and i have but i'm going to paste mine here so let's get my models so now we have actually copied our models here we have the three of them we have the base model we have the instructs model and we have the supervised fine-tuned model over here and make sure all the files are actually here before you actually move forward now um we're going to create a file in here in this particular repo that we pulled um from phone audio llm that's cozy voice we're not going to create this file in the root directory we, we will just create it in here and this python file will be where we set up a, a voice service class or a voice class however you want to call it so let's go over to the readme now if you look over here something that's important that you should actually take note of is this before you run any commands make sure you have actually run this in your terminal and what i want right now are this first we're going to be trying out the supervised fine-tuned first that's the model we will actually try out first now let's first of all we'll leave these two in here let's comment this out so the reason why we actually run this is so we're going to list out the available speakers and as you can see over here they actually left the speaker id in um, chinese so what we're going to do now is run voice.py and so it can actually list out the speakers and we'll maybe pick a different one from this one and we'll see how it actually goes so before we actually run voice.py make sure you have your virtual environment active and let's run it So we just wanted to print the list of available speakers and make sure that this directory is pointing to wherever you actually have this supervised fine-tuned model. And as you can see, mine is pointing to pre-trained underscore models slash the name, which is over here. And as you can see, it's under the Cozy Voice folder, which is really important. Now we have them listed out and let's pick a different one and the default one is this i think it's this first one uh, let's go with the second one now let's let's do the same thing here let's take away this text We'll pass in the text from this argument over here. Now we have our speaker ID already set to the second value we got here. And stream is set to false. And we have this. 
something else we're going to do is we are going to automatically play this audio this wave file once it's actually done saving it because it actually saves it in chunks so we're going to play it the moment it's actually done so let's yeah, um. now let's create a different function we'll call it play like we always do and we're going to use pi again so So call it the file name and now we can actually OS dot remove if we want. Let's import this. Well, now let's comment this out. Now, something else we're going to do is go over here. I'm going to Let's pass in a text. Let's say okay. So now let's run this code and let's see how fast it actually runs. And because I want to see if it runs way faster than fish speech, which would be really cool to see because this one actually sounds very human like. Hello there. How are you doing this fine Thursday evening? It actually was fast. Not bad. It was really fast. And if we check here, you are going to see sft underscore zero dot wave. That's what we did here. Now, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the base model before we finally check out the instruct model. So let's set up the base model. 